We're going to look at a very special kind of function called a piecewise defined function. A piecewise defined function is a function that is literally defined in pieces. And they're actually much more common than you would expect because if you imagine uh, graphing the speed of a car over time, you accelerate, then you slam on your brakes, then you accelerate again, a little bit slower maybe, and each little time you change your behavior, the function is radically different. Okay, so a piecewise defined function is always going to look like this. Okay, there's the curly brace, there's multiple possible functions, and each one has an explicit inequality for x given. Now, we have our warning number 11 here. You only ever plug your x value into one equation because this is still a function. There's only going to be one answer for every x value. So the question is, which equation do I plug x into? And it depends. So we're going to look at several different answers. f of negative 7. Function notation says that whatever I replace the x with inside the parentheses, I replace all the other x's with. The question is, which one do I replace it into though? Well, look at negative 7. Go over here to these inequalities. Which inequality does negative 7 satisfy? Is negative 7 greater than 1? No. Is negative 5 less than negative 7 less than or equal to 1? No. Is negative 7 less than or equal to negative 5? Well, yes. Since it satisfied the first inequality, I'm going to plug negative 7 into the first equation. I work it out. I get 21 minus 15, which gives me a value of 6 for the y coordinate that goes with x equals negative 7. Let's do another example. Okay. f of minus 1. Well, I need to know which equation to turn it to plug it into. So I go over here to my inequalities and I say which inequality does negative 1 satisfy? Is negative 1 less than negative 5? No. Is negative 5 less than negative 1 which is less than or equal to 1? Yes. So I plug it into the second equation and I get 1 plus 1 or 2. Okay. What about f of 1? I go again. Is 1 greater than 1? No. Is negative 5 less than 1 less than or equal to 1? Yes. So I'm once again plugging in to the second equation and I actually end up with the same y coordinate. Okay. Lastly, what about f of 6? Is 6 greater than 1? Yes. So I'm going to use this last equation, the square root of 3 plus 6, or the square root of 9, gives me an answer of 3. So just remember, every time you're dealing with a piecewise defined function, each x has only one answer, and you just have to be careful which equation you're plugging it into.